Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to use AirDrop. And AirDrop is basically a wireless way to send photos, videos, and a lot of other things from one iOS device to another iOS device. So for example, I could send anything from my iPhone here to my iPad. You could also send stuff from iOS devices to Mac computers. So I could send stuff to an iMac, to a MacBook Pro. Really any Apple device could share anything using AirDrop. So let me show you two things here. First, let me show you how to turn on AirDrop so it's activated on your device. Then I'll show you exactly how to transfer files from one device to another device. And if it's your first time here, I make easy to follow social media and technology videos every single day on this channel. So please consider subscribing. Let's jump into the phone. Let's activate AirDrop first. We'll do it on the iPhone. So we need to go to the command center. So on the top right corner, if I drag down, this is my command center here. I'm on an iPhone 10, and I need to make sure two things are activated. I need to make sure Wi-Fi is activated, so that needs to be blue, and Bluetooth as well, the item next to it needs to be activated too. Now, technically, we don't have to be connected to Wi-Fi, but these two options have to be turned on. And now, in that same square, if I hold down in the center, it's gonna open this box here, where I need to make sure the AirDrop option is connected to everyone. So if I press that option, right now you could have it as receiving off so you won't get AirDrop items at all. You could do contacts only if they're on your contact list or everyone should work for everyone. So make sure yours looks like mine here. And now with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and AirDrop connected and personal hotspot should be turned off, you should be able to use AirDrop. So let's go ahead and use it on the next step. I'll just go ahead and take a picture here on my camera. You could also do this from a picture you already have. I'll just go ahead and snap this picture. And if I want to airdrop this picture to my Mac, all I have to do is press the up arrow on the bottom corner here and airdrop devices should connect here next to my text. So you could see my iMac is connected here and then the airdrop icon over here. If I press that, it should show all the devices and all the different people here that are near me with their devices and I could select it. In this case, I have my iMac and I have my MacBook Pro. I'll press iMac and my iMac should receive my airdrop. Now, when you send it to other people, that are not your own devices, they'll get a pop-up and they have to press accept in order to accept it. And on my Mac here, it just appeared on the download folder. So if I go to the download folder of my Mac, I should see it just like that. So now let's go ahead and send it from our Mac here onto our phone. So to do that, there's an option here called AirDrop on your Finder window. If you select this, just like that, I just unlocked my iPhone and it's selected over here. It just appears. Again, I have to make sure, allow me to be discoverable by everyone. So as long as this is connected, I could drag an image here or any file and drop it right on top over here. And as you can see, it just appeared just like that on my phone. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow tech videos and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.